And of course, in uh, this morning's Pet of the Week segment, we're talking cats. We've got a, a noisy little fella here. Mary Heiser with the Capitalier Humane Society joins us. Tell us who this is. Good morning. This is Pasha. She is about a 10 week old little girl. Um, she's not quite ready to go home yet. She can be adopted today, but she still needs to have her space surgery before she goes home. Okay. Uh, and uh, for folks who are interested in, in Pasha, or, oh, she's she's not a morning kitty, is she? No, she's not. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, for folks who are interested, uh, as far as the population this time of year and the need for uh, good homes for these pets, tell we, us we about need that. we need homes for cats year round. The number of kittens goes down a little bit in colder weather, but really, cat overpopulation is so serious in Columbus. Mm -hmm. We always need good homes, and for 1883, that's a pretty good deal. Coming spayed, neutered, microchipped, registered, yeah. dewormer, first vaccinations. That's a fully loaded kitty you're getting. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. And uh, are you finding during the holidays that? that demand goes up or um, or there, that there are more people interested in taking We get a bump home. this time of year. I think a lot of times parents who have promised um, their spouse or their, or their family that yes, they can adopt a pet as, as a holiday Christmas present, that, that's, that that we get a little increase in adoptions then too. But any, do you warn folks um, about you know, pets as gifts and, and making sure it's the right sure, setting and circumstances. Not, it shouldn't be an unexpected surprise. The, the best scenario really is for you to say, you know what, we're going to adopt a pet as a family and go together as a family to pick it out. So maybe on Christmas morning, you unwrap a little a little dish or a bow or a sweater and say, guess what this stands for? We're going together to pick out our new pet. Nice, that's a good idea. Uh, and also with the, the extreme weather we're seeing, what do you want to say to folks about um, taking care and making sure we want you to look out for the pets in your neighborhood. Um, really having an, a dog outside, that's the minimum standard allowable under the law. No one wants to see that, but it is legal, but they do need to have a dog house and food and shelter. Mm -hmm. uh, and if, if you see an animal that, that you're concerned about, um, I imagine. Please call our Cruelty Investigations <laughs> Department and that's 777-7387 extension 250. And don't wait. I mean, a, a, a cold night can be a very long night for an animal that's outside with no shelter. Absolutely. And real quick, one more uh, before we go. Tell us about uh, Pasha. Pasha would love to see you today from 12 to 5 or tomorrow from 12 to 5. Um, I'm sure you'll hear her before you see her. She's <laughs> in the cat cubby in cat room A. All right. Thank you so much, Mary and Pasha for joining us this morning. And uh, you can find out more about this week's pet and watch our previous segments online. Just go to 10tv.com slash pets.